Hello girls, today we're taking a look at Amberlyn Reed's newest video, enjoy. Pizza Stone. The brilliant Amber decides to put the raw pizza on the cold stone, then put both into the oven. Amber isn't the biggest fan of pizza, but she's starting to come around. It's about to go in the oven. So the dough is just made out of some flour, olive oil, salt, pepper, um... I believe some garlic powder and water and yeast. Okay. I just divvied it up. I made two portions. So one portion for us now and we can have some later if we want to. Um, I bought this pizza stone recently. It just gives it a crispier crust. An actual pizza stone. We're legit. We got a pizza stone. Wow. And then using some roasted garlic classico, some mozzarella cheese. Uh, we're going with some crushed red peppers on top. There's jalapenos and sausage, right? Yep. Oh, you guys, look at that. So she just has to put it in the oven. She did this. I didn't even, I didn't even touch it. I probably messed it up. Her taste buds have grown up in the past year. Amber needed a new scale because her dainty ankle hurt too much when she tried to crush those redwood stumps together to fit on the car part scale. New wide scale with 550 pounds maximum. The other new scale from this past summer was reading her as 20 pounds too light, despite her showing us that it was only reading her 5 pounds too light when she used it in the summer. New scale reads two pounds heavier than old scale, but that's totes okay until she inevitably decides it isn't and needs to dehumanize herself for views by measuring her weight with the car part scale again. So once I was able to walk again, I was like, oh my God, my waddle is worse than ever because I couldn't move my ankle in a certain way. You wouldn't believe how much you actually use your ankle. So now that I'm able to like walk my normal way of walking, um, we're fine. Like my ankle is healing, but there are times where I do get like a little pain and that is when I step on my scale. So I got a new scale. The scale that I have now, I've had for years. It is super reliable, but it's super small. The width of it is not good, especially for someone with like really big thighs like me. I have really big calves. So I'm having to like squish my legs together while also straightening my ankle in a way that really, really hurts. So my foot isn't hanging off the scale, obviously. There is a wide width um, scale that a lot of people have that are my size. But last time I bought that, which was last year, I mean, this was like August maybe even before actually it was before I hurt my ankle so it's been like seven months um the scale was so unreliable it was making me 20 pounds lighter than I really was so I said okay that scale's broken sometimes that happens which is unfortunate so I did more research and I found another wide width scale I'm hoping it's wide enough to where my ankle does not hurt because I need a scale that does not hurt my ankle we're not trying to do moving situations that make my ankle hurt that's not the it's not the thing so i did get another scale off of amazon this one was not that expensive which shocked me but it had over 15,000 reviews and they were like all positive <laughs> from what i saw um this was rated almost five stars so it's the eat smart scale i have no idea i'm really nervous i hate getting new scales super high 550 pound capacity so i'm gonna hurt myself today i don't want to know my weight today because i just like i know that it's probably not that great but i'm gonna have to weigh myself on my scale that i have now and then weigh myself on this one and see if it's accurate um i'm keeping my fingers crossed again it was good reviews so i'm really happy about that um, I will open her up and show her later. Amazon haul, ridiculous items, board games, the bullet journal method book that she'll never read because she knows what works for her. A new batch of ugly earrings, even uglier bracelets and necklaces. Horrifying stuff a four-year-old would pick out. Claims her shopping addiction magically disappeared. Her shopping addiction was so bad, like before Jade. She's grown since then. She used to take out 10 grand at a time from the bank and would 
shop till she dropped with her partner, and it was ridiculous. Ignore the circus that was Vlogmas 2022. That was budgeted. You gotta spend money to make money. When I spend it, I make that money back. It's hard to explain. I think I can explain. The shock value of the stuff you buy causes more views, which results in more ad revenue. Then you write off the purchases shown in the hall to lower your taxes. Then you illegally dump donate the material to Goodwill for more video content to get more ad revenue. And before that, you'd give it to your girlfriend's friends and family to buy their loyalty while creating video content. It's amazing how her addictions just magically cure themselves without any work on her part. Shopping, Delta 8, etc. And yet the entirety of her life is still in the exact same downward spiral. I guess she thinks we've already forgotten about all of those ridiculous minibrands, scratch art pads, lottery tickets, and crystals. Or the game she and Jade played in 2022 where they just bought everything they wanted from Amazon. During that affiliate link nonsense, so the last little bit of stuff I do not buy myself things like I used to like I used to be really bad about spending money and like buying stuff and I'm just like I'm, I'm not really like that anymore like it's the end of January and this is the first bit of stuff that I've bought myself where I used to literally oh my god we need to talk about my shopping addiction I think um, well, the shopping addiction that I used to have because I, I do not have it anymore at all. Um, if I see something I want, I usually wait to get it. Um, back in the day, I would, oh God, this is so embarrassing. Like a couple few years ago, um, not since I've been with Feline. I have not done this since I've been with her at all um, because I'm more responsible now. Not because of her. She's made me see things differently, but I'm, I'm just growing older. You know, in my 20s, making large portions of money coming from the childhood that I had where I had nothing. I wore like one pair of pants to school. <laughs> That's all I had. Um, coming from like literally nothing. I did not know how to react to that much money. And it got so bad where I would go to the bank and I would at one time take out ten thousand dollars and be like to my partner i'd be like all right let's go on a shopping spree and we would just shop till we dropped and that's disgusting and i will never be like that again unless i'm like a millionaire and it's like a special moment like oh shopping spree but no <laughs> i will never be that person again so my spending habits have gotten so much better because like you guys saw a lot of spending for vlogmas that was specifically for vlogmas that was budgeted that was planned that was the point you got to spend money to make money when you're a youtuber especially like a vlogger you do have to spend money to make money when i spend money i make that money back i don't know it's confusing it's hard to explain but what i'm trying to say is i got myself a few earrings and i haven't gotten myself earrings in a it feels like a hot minute i don't know so this all came as a set together. Um, they just all came together. It's not like I bought these separately. I really love. She opened up a lot in her last weight loss video and feels so heavy about the thoughts of her brother who was released from jail before she uploaded her video. Her brother and mother's story is their story but they told her it's also her story. Whatever, Amber, stop trying to hide behind your mother and brother. What matters to everyone is your ridiculous behavior. Like this heaviness from just like the thoughts I've been having about addiction and like my brother and stuff. And something I have learned um, from my brother and from my mom is that, yeah, their story is their story but they've equally beat into my head that it's also my story and i love the awareness because you know addiction 
not only is a struggle for the person going through it, but everyone around them that they love. Today is the weight loss appointment. No idea when today is, other than it's a couple days later than a couple days later than when this video started. So basically A plus B plus C equals X, where X is today. Thanks, Time Lord Lynn. Do -do -do. I have my appointment today for the weight loss surgeon situation. I don't think I actually see the surgeon today. Um, I am going to do like a whole separate video. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to have it be like part of a vlog or if I want it to be like a weigh in. Not sure when or how she wants to monetize it. Talk about it. She's doing her makeup. She wants to skip eyeshadow or crazy makeup because she knows she's going to force the waterworks. Due to COVID protocols, the psych evaluation part of the appointment has been moved to a telehealth call, which means she'll be rejected after the second appointment instead of the first. Amber didn't sleep well the night before and plans to ask the doctor what do I need to do, despite knowing the answer will be the same as the last three doctors she's asked. While waiting in the waiting room, Amber plans to edit her video on her phone. It's almost as annoying as when she used to smear hair conditioner all over her face. 